Welcome back to another episode of Blue Lock. It's getting a bit more confusing for me because the whole show kind of started off with be the ultimate, most selfish, egocentric person to formulate the best striker we can be. Then we're practicing as a team of striker. Then now we're playing actual games, but there's a concept of making a zero to one where one striker emerges and then the entire team gathers around that player and then we can perform even better. King Baro, that was so dramatic, like, I'll kill you if you get in my way. Like, relax, it's soccer, but that's the, the over-exaggerated shonen elements of soccer and sport, like sports elements in, like, these kind of shows is what really draws me into them. It's pretty funny. Baro was pretty cool. He was the one that emerged from zero and was able to, you know, lead us team. Now, on our side, Isagi wasn't the one, but he passed at the end. And I'm thinking to myself, so... Does that mean our main character is pretty much given up, becoming the one, and he's going to be a supporting player? And then this kind of clashes with the ideology or the the problem with the first episode of, if we passed, it was an identical scenario. We passed, and he failed at that at first episode. But this time, we passed, and we succeeded because, you know, it's a, probably a better player. What does this really mean going forward? I have no fucking clue. Everything is, it's just contradicting itself, but I kind of have an idea what's going on. Let's watch today's episode. FC football. Sexy soccer. Getting him behind. <laughs> Being physical. Uh, everybody's talking about their, their strength, I guess. Uh, mine is, I have a monster. Jump. For headers, maybe? Mine is passing? Well, I don't know what you're good at. Yeah, <laughs> but exactly, you can't say that as a passer, but it did look like for a second his field of vision was enhanced before he passed, right? Oh, Mr. Ichigo looking guy. Mm -hmm. Well, nice pass. Nice pass. <laughs> the pass, he yeah, was able to score. Thank you. That's it. Yeah. Doing things the right way. What does that mean? But this guy seems very honest, earnest. He seems like a good guy. I don't want an abstract goal because he likes playing soccer. Mm. That's right, he is pretty sturdy and he's got a really strong kick. Oh, you're gonna make a blush when you say it like that. You're, mar you're embarrassing him. <laughs> Alright, good night. Oh, you're gonna tell us why. Huh? You want to be a soccer superhero. I shouldn't laugh at dreams like this, but it's just... They called it a soccer superhero, you know? It was more... It was real. Mm. True, because this is bound in reality. To a point, right? We're still, you know, soccer super athletes do exist. You know, it's not like... Luffy becoming the Pirate King, you know, that's a fictional story. This is a fictional story too, but it's more grounded in reality, right? Wow. Got, I would. To achieve my dream, I will fight right way to take on the world. This guy is a main character, dude. He has an ambition, a strong resolve. You know, he looks like a main character. What are we doing? What about us? But we're the main character. We gotta be badass too, right? Oh my god. That's what he gets? That's not fair. He already finished eating, right? So I guess he can give it to us. Oh, he's gonna share the steak with us. Thanks, man. Yo, what a homie. I like this guy a lot. He even cut it up for us. What a nice guy, man. This, this is a good guy. I don't know about Because he, like, assessed the field. And then he just... Yeah. But he passed. Because he just felt like he was gonna score. He knew. Like a reflex. So this is his talent, but what kind of talent? Oh, because Baro was there, so it was the obvious the right pass to you instead. But in a split second, you were able to assess that. Smell the goal. He can just 
So I guess we are defaulting into a playmaker position, even though he's trying to be a striker. Let's see how well this plan works. We need to form a one out of something. Okay, Bachira leads the entire team up by himself by dribbling. And then... Will two be enough? Okay, whenever it's when again, whenever people's eyes turn into those concentric kind of circles, it looks so cool. Now what? What's the next stage? Temple Monk, what do you got? Kick. Will it score? It'd be too easy. Ah, oh, I got the blocks. Who was that? Who was that? Was that their number nine? Try again, try again. The Bachira dribbles it up. So they're, yeah, they're learning pretty quick. They look pretty casual about this too. Why is he not attacking? He looks very disinterested. What are they waiting for? What, for us to get tired? I feel like, I feel like we're kind of falling into the trap. I don't know. Something about this feels very off. What, what is it? Now is the time. Oh no, he's gonna score. Oh no, he's gonna score. A long range pass. Everybody ran up too close. But we have defense back, right? We, we have the pink hair guy, right? What's this? We have defenders back. It should be okay. Yusagi is back too. And we have a goalkeeper who's not really a goalkeeper. Uh oh. Come on, dude. You gotta. Can you block this? Ooh. Played. Got baited so hard. That was such a light touch. Well, we're gonna make a comeback. We're gonna make a comeback, right? That was a very graceful soft touch. I can't really shit on the goalkeeper because he's not a goalkeeper. You know, he just forced into the position. Lure us in, and then they go for a long range pass, and it just scores. What are They've already formed the one around them. Alright, leader. He does feel like a captain a bit. That's because he's more verbal and kind of organizes. Alright, Kuhn, you're, you're the highest jumper. Then, kick again. Hey, careful, guys, guys. Raichi, please save us. You talk big, but you haven't delivered yet. Please save us from this. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean it's intermission time? What are we doing? <laughs> oh my god, it didn't do anything. Raichi scene just got off screen. Yo! This guy, man. I'm sure. I don't know. I have high expectations of him just because he's loud. But I guess that's not the case. They're just running down the clock, making us just get more tired. It's not going to work out. Running down the clock like this is pretty smart on them, though. Roman? It's like a, what, a lover's quarrel when a girl's out of here. <laughs> what? Huh? Oh. Uh, 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 this is something he's got a screw loose in his head, but let's see where this gets us. You're out, you're out of this league. Come on. You're out of our league. Okay, this guy is pretty interesting too because he, his, he just looks crazy. You know, he talks kind of silently, but in a very intense way. Okay, can you smell a goal? Can you smell a goal, Isagi? Okay, nice pass. Gagamaru can reach it though? So his weapon is his agility. Ooh! Nice try, nice try. That was close though. Just slid across the ground. Oh, your face okay? He's so intense. You know? Gagamaru's eyes are just so intense. It's kind of scary. Oh, it's a monster. Okay, come on. Was that Bachira's monster? 
I thought for a second it was like Bachira's monster. Premonition. Is he smelling the gold? His eyes are lit. Is he running back? Is he running back right now? It was the... It was the guy with the long hair. The guy that went like this. It's, it's this. it's this guy. Where is he? Yeah, him! That guy, that guy! So... Isagi can... What kind of skill is this? This is like... You can just understand the feel. Smell the goal, smell the goal. I want you to score too. Don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. Somebody there. Whoa, this anime. Who is the. Oh, God! Oh! Well worth it, but. Oh, Chikagamaru is just. The thing is just like. He's dying! <laughs> My man is dying! Nice goal. You okay? You okay? <laughs> Nice one though, we got another assist. Oh man, Gagamaru, are you okay? <laughs> Gagamaru is so intense, I like him a lot. What is this again? I'm gonna do like this again. The same eyes? Oh, it's the same like grid like structure before. Where he was able to assess everything before. <laughs> I want Isaki to do it too. <laughs> Bastard with thanks. So, we're getting to know more about the whole ideology of Blue Lock and how everyone's supposed to be as selfish as they can, but we still need to work as a team. Right now, we're trying to really appeal to individual strength. And I'm really confused about what Isagi's strength is because I, I was like, is he really just a passer? Is he someone with a crazy field vision like um like an Ao Aishi? Like Aoi was able to discern the entire field and know when to pass and kind of be a playmaker like that. And for a second in the previous episode when everything just turned into like this blue grid and he knew exactly where to pass, it, it did seem like he was that kind of role. But I'm like, but he's supposed to be a striker. But now at the end when Nika says, you're like me, you have the same eyes. I guess that is his strength. I don't know. I guess it is. I don't know. We're going along with it. Anyways, if you stick around the song, if you didn't enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to go push out my small channel to recommend it so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.